Hello and welcome to Surprise Toy Box. Not much to update you on this week, but if you remember from last week, I redeemed my points for a Nintendo Switch on Black Friday. I got the Black Friday bundle that includes Mario Kart and three months of Nintendo Online. Well, that same day, I ended up selling that one and running to Walmart and buying the Animal Crossing Special Edition one instead. Um, I still had to fork out about $30 out of pocket just because um, I had to sell the other one for a little less money than um, I paid, but um, I thought this was really cute and I really wanted it, so small price to pay. So this co does come with the special edition dock. Um, I think the, co um, the console itself has printing on the back and it has the nice blue and green um, controllers. Still have not opened this yet just because uh, I'm waiting for a screen protector. As for other purchases today, I did get two packs of Old Navy face masks. Um, they were these are fifteen dollars regular for five masks, but today only it was five dollars a pack, so it's a dollar each pack. So my sister and I are gonna split this. Um, who thought in 2020 we would be buying masks as accessories, right? Uh, this one has like cute animal designs, like a cat and dog one and then this one is a bit more subdued i would say so yeah hopefully they um are comfy they don't have the the nose band thing um so i'm hoping it doesn't slide all over my face i still have my donut one right here from the last video and what you're probably all waiting for is the box cat mystery box opening so I got this for a ridiculous amount on Black Friday from the blind box store in the mall um, I've been just like sitting on this for like a whole week is it a week or two weeks I don't even remember um, there's there was only three left in the store um, $16.99 minus 10% off Black Friday still 17 something after tax um, when I went back the other day um, the other two were actually gone so I guess this is a really popular series so let's look at the box again. So the artist is Rato Kim. Um, I think this is his only series, but he does have some one-offs that are like special editions for like conventions or something like that. Um, so you get lemon soda, melon soda, peach soda, grape soda, and coffee, strawberry milk, banana milk, cola, bubble tea, chocolate, lemonade, pineapple juice, and two mystery ones. So these soda ones are actually see-through and there's like little ice cubes that rattle around inside which I thought was pretty neat. Um, some of these other ones like the chocolate bubble tea and banana milk, they're like solid non-see-through figures. So I am actually hoping for a see-through one um, just because I like that. So here's a look at the top. I'm just like stretching out this video because um, this thing is so expensive that it deserves its own like 5 minute video or something. All right, so I think that's enough opening it up now. So it's a little punch tab. Let's see if I can like yank it up without ripping the box too much. Mm. Oh no, technical difficulties. I gotta get some scissors to help me. So if we take out the stuff in the box, there's a bunch of stuff. Ooh, I hope this isn't a card that tells you what I have because if it is I'm kind of disappointed but not really uh, it's like stuck in here ah okay so there is a bubble tea card I actually kind of do like this one but I hope that doesn't mean Ooh, there's actually a little scratch off thing here I'm gonna have to um, scan this QR code I wonder if it's like a point thing or you can like do some online thing I'll have to find out um, there is this little like fun puck I don't know what it, it's supposed to be um, is that the brand yeah it is hmm F U N what does that stand for okay so here is the package it has Rato Kim on it feeling it I don't think it is the bubble tea it feels pretty smooth so I actually shook all the boxes and 
um, I chose the lightest one because I figured the lighter one is the hollow ones with the ice cube, which is the one I want. Whereas the heavier one, heavier one might be the solid figures, but I could be completely wrong. So I probably held you guys in suspense for long enough. So let's open this slowly. And we have Louie. Oh, it is the bubble tea. So I guess this spoiled it. Huh. That's a little bit disappointing. Oh, there's another QR code here. Um. So yeah, so I did not get one of the clear ones, but I guess out of all the um, non-see-through ones, the bubble tea is pretty cute too. I think I would have chose the bubble tea. Oh no, now I wish I got the other two, even though it's like 17 something. Alright, so that is it. Um, There's a little hole here, so maybe it's like uh, not solid on the inside. Is it hollow? It is a pretty hefty figure. Oh, I didn't measure this or weigh this. Oh no. Should I like repack everything so I can get the weight? Hold on. You know I have to weigh it for science. Alright, so this box, including all the contents, like all the paper and pamphlets, is 62.28 grams. So now you know, in case you ever want to weigh stuff in the store. So, still cute, but now I want more. So, let me know if I should go back to the store and see if they have uh, a restock of this. So that is all I have to update you on. I uh, haven't been buying that much stuff this week, but maybe next week? Who knows? Anyways, let me know what you thought. Let me know which one you would have chose. Uh, remember to subscribe, uh, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!